And certainly the Holy Father on that Saturday night had us laughing and crying at the same time. Talk a little bit, Dr. Matthew Bunsen, tell us a little bit about the tone of this entire visit. Yeah, well, obviously it was a monumental success for Pope Francis. Probably the most monumental visit by a pope since 1979 with uh, John Paul II's first visit to the United States. And he was here in the Philadelphia area. He was, where John Paul II brought a message of be not afraid. Pope Francis brought a message, a simple message of Jesus loves you. And, and that, I think, is one of the things that people are going to take with them. Uh, we've obviously seen popes give a lot of speeches over the years, but Pope Francis used both speeches and images. He used a lot of speeches, and he used homilies. He talked a lot. There were scripts that we were embargoed until they were released, but yeah. all those words, will anyone remember what he said? I dare say that somebody who went to the, the, the Festival of Families on Saturday or to the Papal Mass on Sunday can probably barely remember anything that he said, but they will take back the powerful images that they saw, him greeting the, the sick, the frail, stopping the, the, the papal motorcade to hug the paraplegics. Those are the images they're gonna take with them, and it's the images, I think, that will long endure. So some of us were blessed to be here, right in front of the Holy Father when he was saying some of these things. Yeah. But we have to remember, this was heard and seen all over the world. I know Pope Francis was aware of that. Did he accomplish what he set out to do? He did, absolutely, for a couple of reasons. Consider that his papal events were broadcast on every network. Every newspaper covered them. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people came out for them. What did they see? What they saw was the authentic family, happy families, Catholic families. It was a message that Pope Francis brought not just to American Catholics, but to all Americans, to have an encounter. And by having that encounter, one of those pillars of his pontificate, they had an encounter with Jesus. And I think that was a life-changing experience. You and I were there when he encountered more than 300 of his bishops yes. from around the world. Are they moved to do what he's calling on the church to do? That's the next question. Yeah. What do we do with this visit? We follow his advice. We take it out. We bring Christ to everyone, to the peripheries, as Pope Francis asks us. Dr. Matthew Bunsen, the author of the Encyclopedia of the Saints and many other books. Always great to have you with us. Wonderful to be with you, especially Thank in you. this journey. Yes.